It's thought that fire was first used by primitive man up to 1.7 million years ago. However, starting a fire with basic flint or rubbing sticks together is a long and difficult process. But things got a lot easier in the 5th century, when the Chinese invented sulphur matches. But it wasn't till the mid-19th century that safety matches were born. Nowadays, to start a fire, you just need to rub a match head against a striking strip, and there you go, you're in business. But it took another 1,400 years after the Chinese invention for the modern safety match to appear. Today, matches are cheap and easy to make. A liner board paper roll feeds into a machine, passing under a hot iron to reduce the moisture level to around 5%. An inner box making machine like this one can make 55,000 liners per hour through high speed die cutting, folding, gluing, and forming. The speed of the process depends on the inner box's size and the paper's density. The machine throws out formed inner boxes onto a conveyor belt at a rate of 1,000 liners per minute. The conveyor then drops the formed liners into storage bins. An automatic sorting machine files the boxes in single rows and arranges them upright on conveyors feeding the filling machine. In the meantime, Pre-cut inserts are fed to the outer box making machine. High speed die creasing and cutting tools automatically fold the inserts. As the folded liners run through the rollers, the machine forms and glues the box skillets. Each insert has two striking strips. In an industrial mixer, gelatin capsules are poured over potassium chlorate. Gelatin serves as a binder for the match head compound. Hot water is added to dissolve the gelatin, which combines with the potassium powder. Silica granules are then added to the mix. They act as a combustion controlling agent. The sides of the mixer are rinsed with water as the compound mixture reduces. After 40 minutes, when the mixture is liquid, red colouring is added as well as other compounds that make the match head burn more vigorously. On the splint production line, a batch of splintered aspen wood is inspected and impregnated with ammonium phosphate to prevent afterglow. The splints run over perforated plates to shake off any residue or waste. Then they go through a machine which automatically discards any undersized or broken splints. The splints now reach the match dipping line, where the perforated steel match bar runs down an endless chain. The automatic feeder inserts over 2 million splints per hour into the sockets of the match bar. The splints get a paraffin coating. While a mixer prevents the match head compound from solidifying, the loaded match bar lowers the splints and dips their heads in. After five seconds, the match bar moves back up and the head compound mixture flows down into the mixing pan to be renewed before another section of the match bar moves in. After dipping, the splints keep rolling down the match bar chain for drying. The chain loops up and down for an hour, leaving the match head compound time to dry thoroughly. Once the heads are dry, the finished matches are ready for packaging. But first, the filling machine sends the outer and inner matchbox liners to parallel conveyors. On a high-speed line, the machine can process 500 boxes per minute. The finished matches finally come off the match bar and the filling machine places them into the liner. At this point, the machine processes 200 matches per second. The filling machine pushes the inner liner into the outer box. The machine is calibrated to fill each box with a set amount of matches and reject the extra ones. Finished filled boxes come out onto the packaging conveyor. Matches can be made in a variety of sizes, large or small. 
and it's amazing to think that man has harnessed one of nature's most powerful elements in a tiny box. Good job for some bright spark.